create me a baby. So then what am I supposed to do, Mom? You want me to out, out the house because of who I'm dating? Yes, yes, I do. And then what am I supposed yes, to do? You do what you want to do when you out my house, but long as you in my house, you going to have a decent relationship. But the thing this is, come Mom, from the old school, baby. The old school. What I'm talking about is a man and a woman procreate and they have babies. Not a woman and a woman, okay? Y'all can't have babies together. Don't you understand? But she is a better partner than I've ever had in my entire life. Not but I'm supposed to be with name. somebody that I don't want. But Not by my She has name. treated me the best that I've ever had in my whole life, Mom. But you want me to go and settle and be with somebody that I don't love. Yeah, That's well, what you prefer. Guess what? You gotta grow to love people. Okay? You gotta get okay. to know the person. Okay. Alright? You ain't even get no man no chance. Alright. Uh, you damn right. Okay, so what you seen, man, is a... Whew. I've been getting a lot of responses from this video, bro. Um, let me first start by saying today is the best day of my life, man. Tomorrow's not promise gone. Do your little dance while they still playing your song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call it, man. Dirt and dirt don't hurt. Man, I am um I have several opinions on this particular video. One of them is I think that all humans should be able to express themselves freely. I think that whatever you are attracted to, whatever is attracted to you, that you should have the humanistic right to choose however you choose, period. That goes along with how you want to be identified, uh, how you want to be addressed, how you want to be approached. Hey, man, if that's what you feel like you need, who am I to say that that's not what you deserve? Simple and plain. However, I also understand that there's a totally different element. There's two different elements that's not being discussed, or we're not, we're not adjusting to. One of them is that, you know, we got some, uh, I posted this video on Instagram and I thought that it was going to be one-sided. I thought that the comments were going to be one-sided because I thought that people were going to be like, oh no, she has the right to choose and her mom is out of line and, um, she's dis Now there, there were some of those and mind you that this video got like a, a couple of thousand hits. Um, uh, but there were a lot of people that were saying, preach mama and tell her how it's supposed to be. Uh, as much as, as much publicity and a much, as much campaign and propaganda and attention that the LGBTQ community receives, there's still a strong population of people who have those old school morals. There's still a population of people that believe that a man is supposed to be with a woman and a woman is supposed to be with a man. And this young lady's mama was one of those people. She could not wrap her mind around homosexuality. And she was standing on old school business, according to today's infrastructure of equality, growth, identifying as and being born as I'm sorry um so due to the fact that you know mom was old school I was thinking that you know things was gonna get weird in the conversation man but there's a lot of people that felt the way that she feels because she's up under her mom's roof that's an element because if you're up under my roof, then you should have to do the things that I think you should be doing. I, I'm a different kind of father and I have daughters and shout out to my daughters, man. I just went to my oldest child's uh, baby shower. Much respect to King Salem on the way. We got you shouting. And I have another daughter, my 10 year old, who is actually my auntie, cause that's how she interact with me. Always telling me what to do. Uh, but I believe that, especially my daughters, 
I think that children should have the right to to be themselves. But mind you, I'm coming from uh, a generation of pretenders. I'm coming from a generation of people who have pretended to to be into certain things. I don't like sports, but because it was popular, I played football, basketball, and baseball when I really wanted to play the violin. So I'm coming from an era where I had to pretend to be gangster and to pretend to be all these things because that's what everybody else was doing. So, so I I try to set the platform up in my household with my seeds is that, hey man, whatever you decide to do, it's my responsibility to support that, whether I agree with it or not. Now, there was a time in my life where I would try to persuade and alter, but the only thing I want to do is build your confidence up. I just want to build your confidence up. So whatever that you decide to do, you have to understand that when you make certain decisions, you got to live with those decisions. But I'm not going to tell you just because you live in my house or you up under my, I'm paying the bills. I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to try to, to, to dictate like who you are as an individual. I'm not going to do that. I just don't think that that's fair. Nor am I gonna try to bestow my re my responsibilities upon you, and or my religious beliefs, or or any of that. I'm gonna tell you my truth. I'm gonna tell you how I feel and why I feel. But I'm never going to 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 handicap you of your ability to choose. Now. From a mathematical perspective. Ooh, let's talk mathematics. Because when we start talking mathematics, guess what happened? The blurry line stopped being so blurry. So from a, and, and mind you that this conversation that I caught a glimpse of, it was not a mathematical conversation. It was one of, hey, this is what's going on in my house, and this is how it's going to be. And the daughter couldn't understand she was at all. As she should be. But the mother should be at all too because they both have their origins and their center of belief. So, but here's what I want to say. This is, and again, this is my opinion. But when it boils down to the mathematics of things, here's some unpopular truths. It ain't enough black men. You know, heard me say it in the video before. The black population is losing. We are no longer the minority. We are losing. We are dying. A lot of us are homosexuals. A lot of us are interacting with uh, non-African-American women and or men. So that means that if this is a race and we're trying to win, then there are certain things that have to be done in order for us to achieve victory. If I came into a situation and my particular goal would to be achieve victory, then there would have to be some definite changes in the way that we move. One, can't keep going to chain gang. Two, homosexuality would have to be altered. Maybe temporary. But if we was focused on winning by numbers, a lot of the homosexuals will have to convert, transition, transform, and interact as heterosexuals. That's just the truth of the matter. If the African-American race is going to survive, the homosexual aspect of things is going to have to be altered. The music aspect of things is going to have to be altered. The black on black killing is going to have to be altered. Because as fast as we're making babies, we killing ourselves. It's a whole nother conversation. But what I'm saying is this right her curving on curving. <laughs> uh, I was having a conversation with one of my homegirls. And mind you, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to use white gloves. Yeah, let me see. Is this is this relevant? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, so I was talking to one of my homegirls who 
I guess she would be one of my homeboys. And we was like, cool. And we were just having a conversation. And this was like a while back when I wasn't as open to uh, lesbians being lesbians or bisexuals being bisexual. In my mind, I was just like, on my to-do list, all I want to do is convert a homosexual woman back to a heterosexual. Upon dating a real homosexual woman, let me explain something to you. Boy, sit your little stupid ass down. <laughs> Boy, sit your little stupid ass down. That is not what she owned. That is, is no. It's a fa It was a fantasy then, because I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring you back. <laughs> uh-uh, leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. And when I was talking to my homegirl, we having open conversations. So I would just ask her. I was like, shawty, you don't never want no D. And she was like, never in a million years. I'm like, but Shawty, you got two children and your ass fat. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, listen, bro. She said, I love you. I fuck with you. She said, but if we was on a desert island, nigga, with nobody there, like no civilization there, I would not touch you, period. Get what I said? <laughs> I said, Shawty, we was on a desert island. I ain't asked you but twice. <laughs> I ain't asking you but twice, y'all. All that other shit. <laughs> we gotta keep the population going. What is you talking about? <laughs> you got we got to just agree to disagree on this one. But no, seriously, I wouldn't disrespect her or violate her myself or any individual in that aspect. But all I'm saying is that, you know, if survival is the key, if survival is the key, it's, it's some it's some things that gotta it's some things that gotta change. And you could do that certain ways. You don't have to be a heterosexual, interact with a heterosexual. Don't they have like artificial insemination or something like that? All I'm saying is the black races, we dying. So you can hold on to all the rights and all the beliefs that you have to it's 12 of us left off in this motherfucker. And then, you know, then you can, you know, try some things then. But what I'm saying is that if you're trying to win, it's going to have to be some changes. That and or the people that are multiplying who are having children, y'all got to stay pregnant, folks. You have to stay pregnant. And um, uh, that's just the, the, the truth of the matter. So, hey, man, I like to hear what you got to say because I don't want to disrespect nobody and I don't want to be, you know, outcast and none of that stuff right there. I'm not a homophobe. Uh, I'm not a hater or any of that stuff. I am just a, a seeker of truth. And so with that being said, what I want you to understand is this, man. Today is the best day of your life, man. Tomorrow's not promised. Go on do your little dance while they still playing your song. You heard? Cuban or Cuban. <laughs>